Greetings, all! This is Zaptrocity, and welcome to episode 3 of the Minecraft Design Guide, where I will be teaching you how to make your place a lot better than this house. This right here is an average house. Now, today we're going to go over the walls, so... No, I'm not going to go over torches or doors or windows, but this is a house that a basic Minecrafter might build. Yeah, it might be alright, it looks pretty cool. Yep, yep, nice wooden, very nice window, oh yes. But when you want something nice looking, this isn't somewhere you would want to stay in if you've got enough money. So, first tip of the day, this is an improved house. Look at that, we have got some wooden pillars to add some detail to it. And it looks very nice. Uh, this one doesn't have a window though, but you can always add in a window. Along the sides, we've got sideways logs. Um, this one's up like proper wooden logs going upwards. Yeah, that's that. And then moving on, we've got a slightly bigger house. We now have a double door. Um, this window has glass panes, and glass panes look quite nice from the outside indeed because it has this little bench kind of thing. Uh, this looks not too bad as well, the normal glass. I, would, I prefer this though. Um, today's not windows though. We might go over windows another time, making windows better. If you think that's good, wait until we see more better windows. Yep. So things are different. We still have that wooden thing. Now here we have like a kind of cobblestone lining. So these wooden lining and a cobblestone lining, it adds some nice effect onto the walls when we look at from it. If we compare this to this, this one does look a lot better. So over here I've got a stone house this time. Um, got a few wooden houses, so tried doing some stone. So we've got kind of the same thing going on. Um, got like uh, stone brick kind of lines. Oh, don't have it there though. Probably should fix that up. There we go. And uh, what I have here is, with the cobblestone lining, I have some stairs going around it, so it looks quite nice. And connecting that up is a nice little cobblestone pillar to add some kind of depth. And quite nice because it has the doors right here, and you could always put torches there or on the outside. Or even a sign. That's nice. These are corner stairs. You can put half slabs if you choose to. No, those still look good as well. Um, if you notice, some of these don't have any roofs. We'll be going over, over roofs another time, so don't worry. Now this, this looks quite impressive, doesn't it? It looks, this is made out of normal stone. Yes, yeah, see? Stone. See? Look at it. Quite nice. So, uh, this one has a small little roof on it. Uh, nothing too fancy, but it's just got a little roof. Um, so it, you can see at the front we have little pillars to add the depth. The depth and detail in walls can help a lot. So we see here we have pillars. Um, symmetry is important as well. We can see this window is quite nice. It kind of comes out, then in, and then it goes in again because of the window. Comes out again, then out again. And these kind of, kind of beams coming out and it's kind of sloping out with the stairs holding it in place. And these are quite nice as well. Kind of like a pillar and holding it up. Um, holding it like, holding kind of the rim of the roof as well. Um, if we look at the back here, I have pretty much the same pillars, except for I've added a little stair effect here. So that looks quite nice. Um, kind of branches out as well, so it's kind of like a big eye kind of pillar instead of this one. So that's quite nice. Uh, Adding pillars can make things a lot, a lot nicer. So make sure detail and uh, depth to walls can make it a lot better. Now if we look over here, this is, house is basically the same as this one here, except for these torches. Yeah, yeah, that's about the same now. Um, but the thing inside though, look at this. It's got a nice inside. It's the thing I haven't showed you. On all the other houses, we've been focusing on the outside walls. Now, if we're going to look into the inside, um, if you have like a two-layer wall, you can actually put in like a wallpaper and 
design your own wall. I've used different types of wood and just quickly made something like this. Uh, now the thing is with windows though, uh, if it's it, it has a big gap like right here, see, and that doesn't look too nice. So what I I did was I placed some stairs. That, that one's not always needed, um, but no, no, let's just grab that. There we go. So we can kind of like walk up to it. That looks nice. You can always have that up top, and you can make your own designs on your walls as well. Um, depth uh, and pillars can also work inside the house. Unfortunately, since I copied that house right there, um, this house uh, is quite small, so can't really do a lot. Uh, what I like to do is maybe add some fences to it, and you know, make the walls a little nicer. So now that this could be like, instead of having just random chests, now we have, look at that. This could have been like a random chest, chest compartment right there, but we've turned it into something new, and we've added in a little bit of detail, so it looks a lot nicer. So that's about it for today. Um, the main point I was trying to get about walls are that you need detail and depth and that usually makes your walls a lot nicer. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, hopefully you found this useful. Make sure to give a like if you did find this useful. Uh, and I'll see you guys um, next episode.